What up, Fortnite fam? I'm Matt. And, you know, it's been fun. But soon it's going to be time to say goodbye to Fortnite Chapter 3 Season 2. The live event is happening today. And with it comes a whole new season for us to sink our teeth into. So, before all of that happens, let's take a moment to review all of our confirmed and leaked information. That's right, today we're going over everything we know about Chapter 3 Season 3. This season we've seen the island at war. The IO finally crawled up from the old Chapter 2 island and began their attack on the 7th. We've seen blimps go up and entire POI invaded by the enemy, but luckily we've been able to fight back and liberate most of these locations. Now the final battle is almost upon us, and aside from a pretty much confirmed mecha fight during the live event, we face the end of the war and ask the question, what comes next? If the first mecha event is anything to go by, then we know it's going to be insane. Chapter 1 Season 9's live event had the mecha rise up and fight a monster of equally colossal proportions. We watched them fight on top of POI, crushing them in the process, until ultimately the mecha revealed that a POI was actually an enormous sword. It was absolute carnage. But in the end, the mecha Fortnite danced on top of its fallen enemy. With that in mind, imagine something of equal proportion once that countdown reaches zero today. There's probably going to be a bunch of new changes in the new season, and one of those new changes may include a new storm. It's no secret that the IO have some pretty nasty plans for the island and the Seven. That's why they built the Collider, and at the end of the season we will actually see how it affects the next one. However, we might actually have some hints as to what to expect already, and for this one we're going to have to talk about the Storm. There are leaks hinting that the Storm will turn red as a result of this meddling from the Collider. We don't know quite exactly how this is going to impact gameplay, but changing up the storm is something we haven't seen much of. Who knows, perhaps they will even sneak in that fear mechanic we've been getting clues about these past few seasons. Red storm? It sounds spooky. And hey, if you want to avoid getting spooked by your enemies, click the link below and visit ProGuides.com for some pro-level coaching that can help you get ready for the next season and the upcoming tournaments. Learn new strategies, master the meta, and improve your fighting skills. You can come in with any level of skill and we'll make sure to beef you up so you can start seeing improvements fast. The next thing on our list is something Epic has been known to be working on for a while now. I'm talking about mountable animals and weapon mods. Epic is always down for change, especially with their changes of the season. Whether it be something to do with the island or an actual mechanic that gets updated, Fortnite always does its best to stay fresh. Back in Season 1, we speculated whether or not Clombos would be the alleged rideable animals, and while you could stand on top of them, you could never really guide them in any direction. That could change with the next season of Fortnite, and if we're lucky, we might see Epic finally reveal how we're going to tame the wildlife. Weapon mods are also a hot topic when it comes to Fortnite. In fact, weapon mods could actually be a major game changer if executed properly. When we look at vehicles and the different mods that have come out, we see them gain extra durability when it comes to traversing the terrain. We've also seen vehicles gain extra ramming damage. The same would apply to weapons, and we could see all sorts of crazy combos that make each one unique. If done correctly, it could be a well-balanced tool for players to think strategically about, increasing the skill cap in the game. Epic is no stranger for getting things leaked long before they actually show up. Just look at sliding. We found the animations long before we got the actual mechanic. The same goes for the new vehicle mods such as the Cowcatcher. Whether it's the next update or the one after, if something is leaked during an extended period of time, then it's possible it might just be worth checking out. As of right now, there is a huge potential crossover floating around in the leaks, and seeing how the mecha is being rebuilt in space, it might actually be true. In the past, we'd already seen leaks, teasers, and eventually the full release of the Obi-Wan crossover. However, how big is the galaxy, and how big is this event going to be? Will it simply be a new skin in the item shop like Obi-Wan, or will it be something far more grand like the Avengers crossover where we fought against Galactus? Leaks point to there being a huge Star Wars crossover of galactic proportions coming up next season. Potentially, Star Wars may invade the island during Season 3, giving us a whole new enemy to fight. Based out on some images sent out by Epic, we've gotten hints of what's to come. 
These images were put together by the prominent leaker Hypex, who revealed some more details about the mech. We see the heat signals of what could be the zero point and both parts of the island, as well as a destination in red. One common theme across all of these leaks is space, with space becoming so prominent that the Star Wars crossover begins to hold more water. Darth Vader himself will be drawn to the power of the Zero Point and wish to have it for himself. So aside from seeing Obi-Wan on the island, we might be seeing Imperial troops invading and causing trouble for us loopers. Luckily, we might also have some more iconic characters from the Star Wars franchise to help us out such as Han Solo and Princess Leia, who are also rumored to be added in during the next season. Okay, Fortnite fam, it's time for the question of the day. You ready for this? What is your dream season? Themes, competitive loot pool, changes to the map, anything that you think would make the best and most interesting competitive season ever. Let us know in the comments below. One of the newest leaks going around shows us a supposed image of the next season's Battle Pass. There was a pretty big chance that it could have been false, but it does seem in line with the rest of the leaks we've been getting. First of all, we have Darth Vader, possibly as the level 100 skin, as well as one of the skins from the Fortnite poll a way back. Right next to them, we see our next customizable skin, and honestly, these customizable skins have been quite a treat lately, from tuna fish having changeable colors to getting a variety of different masks during the last season. This time, we might have a character named Snap, who, by the looks of it, will work like an action figure. If this leak is true, then it's possible we'll be able to interchange different parts of Snap's body to make our very own custom-made action figure. This is actually a neat concept, and if the leak turns out to be false, then Epic should snatch up whoever came up with it and make it a reality, because it just sounds like something way more exciting than the Omni Sword. We also got a glimpse at Harrison Ford as the bonus skin to be released later on in the season. Seeing as a new Indiana Jones movie is currently in production, it will help us all stay hyped for this new film, because this definitely looks like indie. As we were making this video, Epic did in fact reveal the mech, and there was a render that looked exactly the same as it did in the Battle Pass leak. Since the skin is now officially available for members who own the Fortnite crew, it pretty much confirms the rest of the Battle Pass leak. So what are you doing? Go check it out now! As for the story, all that's left now is to wait for the live event and see what significance it will play during the collision. Will the mecha once again do battle with a giant monster controlled by the IO, or will it be used to stop something even bigger from happening on the island? Time is running out, so I hope you all get a good front row seat. And hey, if you don't, I'm going to be streaming it, so make sure that you check in when the event is live. So one thing Fortnite is always well known for is its collabs. At this point, it seems like almost every property will eventually dip into the Fortnite multiverse, as Epic does collabs with the likes of Marvel, Warner Bros, and other video game companies. One leak suggests that for the next season, or one in the distant future, we're going to be getting a pretty interesting crossover with none other than Naruto characters. But wait, 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 wait. didn't we already have Naruto and his crew get added to Fortnite? Well, yes, we have. We've seen Sakura, Kakashi, and Sasuke finally hit the island complete with their own custom created mode. However, we might actually get a second wave of characters as suggested by data miners who have uncovered a series of challenges titled Kawaii 2. Kawaii was the original name for the Naruto challenges we got back during the initial crossover. So seeing a second set possibly being worked on could be promising. We'll just have to wait and see. And hey, if you want a promising chance at improving your skills, then don't forget to check out ProGuides.com for our pro level coaching. You'll be able to get yourself ready to take on any challenge. That's all for today, Fortnite fam. Did you enjoy today's video? Well, if you did, be sure to leave a like and ring that bell to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest tips and tricks that we have to offer. Also, feel free to leave a comment and let us know what you would be most interested in learning more about. We'd love to hear from you. So remember, the collision event is right around the corner. Free up some time in your schedule and get ready to watch as season two finally comes to an end when the live stream goes live tonight. When the new season starts, we'll be here as always, ready to give you all the latest and greatest tips and tricks. Once again, this is Matt, and we'll see you very soon.